bail. The crime has already happened, or the alleged crime has already happened. So, how can you attribute bail to this increase in crime? And not, should, we, should there not be more supportive measures to prevent the crime in the first place? Well, <laughs> the, uh, the, uh, someone's been on bail. They've already allegedly committed the crime. So where, you know. They're committing crimes on bail. <laughs> That's the problem. The problem is, I'll give you an example. In Vancouver, the same 40 offenders were arrested 6,000 times. In a year, that's 150 arrests per offender per year. Why? Because they're arrested in the morning, then they're released on bail by noon, they reoffend, they're back in jail by two in the afternoon, and then they're released by the evening so that they can commit their final crime before they go to bed. The failure of the, the system to not support people who have committed crimes, gone to jail, serve their, their sentence, you know and then they're committing another crime. So is this not a failure of things like social services and support for people who have committed crimes? Are you, seri are you serious? I'm asking you no, a question. I mean, are you serious? Come on. You're telling me... No, excuse me. Let, let me answer your question. Are you honestly saying that it's society's fault if a repeat violent offender commits 60 or 70 offenses? I think that criminal is to blame for his own actions. He is personally responsible. We're not talking about some kid who made one mistake when he was 19. We're talking about people who do 60, 70 violent offenses. Why do those people and then they're, be, because they're criminals. So why are they criminals? Because they do crime. And why do they do crime? Because we let them out early on bail. So because they got I think we've let solved out, the riddle here. Because they got let out early on bail. That's right. They then commit the crime. That's right. So that's what, the, the, that's what all the experts agree is the cause of the crime. So have they stayed in jail the whole time, on, on bail, in, in jail, not on bail, as you say, they would then not commit crimes? Because they'd be in jail, so, so they couldn't they, commit crimes. when they get out at the end of their sentence, they're crime-free? Well, they, we, we can't guarantee that, but what we can guarantee is the period when they're behind bars, they will not be able to do crime.